Welcome back to the most anticipated match of today. We have Mr. Mime's Power Swap build. Congratulations, Scyther, you're first out the gate. Evie, I'm sorry, you were last. Better luck next time. So, we are using Confusion and Power Swap with this game. Confusion and Power Swap, let's see how it does. To note, Light Screen acts as a barrier, which you can definitely use it at the beginning of the game. Like, I could have used it right now, I was just focusing on getting XP. And there we go, I used it. Another thing you want to do with Pokemon, with Wild Pokemon in the middle, you want to get on the opponent, on the enemy side, so when you use Fake Out, it pushes the Wild Pokemon to your side. That way, hopefully your ally will catch on to that and can help you either get the XP from that Pokemon or the ally can take the Pokemon or the XP itself. Use, use light screen as much as you can during this, just like we did with Eevee. First we blocked him and then we trapped him. And right here you want to use light screen so they, if, if the situation calls for it, they won't be able to go back and get healed. But we kind of got outnumbered there. Or I was just weak and got KO'd. Alright, we are heading back. Looks like top lane's doing pretty well so far. Alright, now we're just leveling. There's a Pokemon on top I go for. And Scissor apparently goes for the enemy with Ghastly. There you go, you use light screen right there to try and block anyone from coming. Alright, and... Gengar got KO'd and Scissor's back with me. Alright. So Gengar's going middle. He's a little late to middle, but that's alright. We'll get it back. Alright, see, I made a mistake there. I pushed the enemy towards their goal zone. Luckily, Sizer was there and KO'd them before they could run. And then I decided to stay in battle. And I got KO'd, so I had about five seconds to think about what I did. But that's okay, because I'm back and ready to go. Alright, we got Power Swap and Confusion, so the build is set. Let's see how it works out for us. Power swap sizer. And then it broke. So sizer's. No, I'm power swap. Power, no, the enemy. Uh, the wild Pokemon. I'm sorry. The wild Pokemon. Come on, coach. Alright, it is three on three right now. Sizer got KO'd. So I power swap Age of Slash and I get KO'd. And so does Gengar. Not doing too well. Alright, we're going to level. The enemy got the objective at the bottom. And then I realize everyone's going for the top for, Reg for Regilecki. I was about to say Regislash. Regilecki. So I'm going top as well. And there's Regilecki. And I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm trying to get healed? Oh no, I ran away from the battle. Why did I do that? Stay with your allies, especially if you're a support, unless you are just low on health, because then this happens. All right, we are going up, try and help out again. There we go, meet the enemy. Just me and Gengar. I used power swap on the enemy. I should have used power swap on Gengar to heal him. I don't know if it would have worked out, but it would have been a better play. 
because I got KO'd too. All right, and again, we are pushing the top lane, or at least trying to defend it. There we go. We KO Greninja. I power swap Gengar. Gengar is going to go to the middle, and I'm going to follow him. Let's see how that works out for us. So we're just trying to level again. Let's see. I power swap Gengar, and where are we headed? We are headed to score on the enemy goal. Can we get it? Yes, we do. Do we break it? Yes, we do. Aegis Slash gets there just a little bit late. And I power swap Gengar. But Gengar gets KO'd. Aegis Slash runs. I shove slow bro just gonna say push shove it's the same thing just a different word and let's see how this works out sizer goes down i go down last noise runs and makes it all right with glacian way to go i had about 10 seconds to think about my mistake but it's okay i'm back in it we got three minutes and 30 seconds left. Let's see what happens. So there's Glacian, slow bro. I power swap Glacian to heal him. This is great because that slow bro is running, Glacian's getting healed. And then I don't know what goes on right here. We're running in circles around each other. And then I stop mid, which I shouldn't have done because Aurora is right there. But it's Espeon that makes the attack on me. All right, and then Glacian goes in, but then comes around, so there was miscommunication, probably on my part there. I should have just followed him, but instead I focus on the, the wrong enemy or a different enemy, and I get KO'd. Got eight seconds to think about what I did. Things don't look too good right now. But that's okay, we'll get back in it. Or will we? Find out. All right, it is a three team run right now. Power swap Glacian. I put in a notice that the center is about to pop. And, uh-oh, it quickly became three against two. And I get KO'd again. I have 15 seconds to think about what I did, which is really bad because Rayquaza just popped. I got five seconds left. I'm the only one down. And yet, no one's in the center. Glacian just came in the center. Looked like Gengar made a notice to keep the pressure on. Hopefully he meant by, hopefully he meant go in the center by that, but we'll find out. And I missed the power swap. That was a terrible aim on my part. Terrible aim. All right. Who do I have power swap? Nobody right now. So I power swap Glacian. And we down Regilecki. Way to go us. We worked as a team right there. All right, we're trying to down Greninja right here. Sizer scores. I score. Can Blastoise score up top? Let's find out. He's got 45 points. He scores. He got 90 points for us. We down Zoror. Not Zoror. And the enemy team surrenders. Guys, don't surrender. Please don't surrender. Even if it's on the enemy team, please don't surrender. I don't like surrenders. Let's see what the points were. And if they should have surrendered. It was 452 to 283. Even if they should have surrendered, please don't surrender. Good job, team. That was a great effort. Hey, Glacian got 99k damage. All right. 
Thanks for watching, guys. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it so that others can enjoy it and benefit from it as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this of other Pokemon with different builds. With nothing else to say, I hope you have a great day.